Hello YouTube! Thanks for joining me for the start of a brand new series. Today we're starting our playthrough of Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World. If you hadn't already guessed, this is the, s the sequel to the original Tales of Symphonia, which you just recently finished our playthrough of. If you haven't seen that, you should check that out. I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description of this video. Without any further delay, let's get started. Unfortunately, I can't load the clear data. For some reason, the system just isn't taking it. But that's fine. It's only a few items that we don't need. Long ago, the giant Carlon tree, the essence of balance and order in the world, withered and died. By the will of the heavens, the world was cleaved in two. Many years later, the Chosen of Regeneration planted a new world tree to take the place of the withered giant Carlon tree. The birth of the new world tree also brought about the unification of Silverot and Tetha Ala. The two worlds were now reborn as one. The world was at the dawn of a bright new era, or so it seemed. There she is! Seize her! I'll follow Lloyd. With their high level of technological prowess, the Tetha Allen civilization looked down upon the people of Silverant as barbarians. The Silveranti blamed the Chosen of Regeneration for bringing this world into being, as they turned their backs on the Church of Martell that supported her. Amidst all of this chaos, the world itself began to cry out. Scorching hot deserts were blanketed with snow. Bountiful lakes dried up and withered. Forests burned to ash as glaciers melted into the sea. These phenomena fanned the flames of dissatisfaction within the hearts of the people, leading to the birth of a monster. A resistance organization was formed by the oppressed people of Silverant to defend themselves. United against the perceived evils of Tetha Ala and the Church of Martell, they called themselves the Silverante Liberation Front, the Vanguard. This way! Hurry! Yes. Emil, hurry! We must get away or we'll all be killed by Lloyd! Who did you say is going to kill you? Lloyd Irving! The people of Paul Macosta have aided the Vanguard and undermined the authority of the Church of Martell and the Chosen. The punishment for this crime is death. Mom! Emil, run! Get away from here!
Help me. Help me, Ratatosk. Are you all right? Are you the one who saved me? It's Tenebrae's howl. I have to go. Wait, what's your name? Emil, you came back. Oh dear, I can't even see your face. I, I'm not going to last much longer. But you, you have to live. You have to run before Lloyd comes back. Go to Lewin, to your Aunt Flora. <laughs> Mom. How? I feel like I've heard it before. Maybe it's just my imagination. All right, so that was quite a bit to take in. Uh, if you weren't able to follow all that, a quick summary, Tethyala and Silverant have been reunited in one world. Uh, there is now quite a bit of conflict because of that, and for some reason, it seems like Lloyd, the main hero of the first game, is in the role of villain. Hopefully there's going to be a little bit more explanation about that. Uh, for now though, let's see what we've got. Neil Castanier. Always afraid and timid, an introvert that can't speak his mind. Cool. Good morning, Aunt Flora. Monsters have been going down into the lake bed since dawn. I I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Uh, um. Despicable child, always so indecisive. You're hardly like Lana at all. You must take after Raysol. I'm sorry.
Yeah. Timid child with unpleasant parent figures. Not a great combo. <laughs> Stop moping around and getting in my way. Go back to your room. Uh, no. How about I just leave? Because you suck. <laughs> and hey, we know this town. We just finished rebuilding it at the end of the last game. There's that howl again. It sounds like it's coming from the Fountain Plaza. I can't read the statue. Oh, you know where the Fountain Plaza is. that bow to Lloyd the Great I uh, I already did no, no you, you didn't. didn't you don't like Lloyd the Great do you that's why you're trying to destroy our city because Lloyd restored it to its former beauty what well, what are you talking about don't, don't act dumb. dumb ever since you came here Lake Sanoa's dried up and there are more monsters you're planning on getting your monster friends to attack the town aren't you uh of course not. Okay, then prove it. What? Swear your allegiance to Lloyd the Great right now. If you do that, then we'll believe you. Come, Come on, on, let's, let's hear, hear it. it. Well, yeah, without really knowing what's going on with Lloyd at the moment, uh, I do know that Emil does not like Lloyd, so... I go with no. <laughs> What's the matter? Swear it! <laughs> no, I won't. Lloyd killed my parents, and I'll never swear allegiance to that murderer! We heard that. So that's how you really feel, huh? First you heard that he yelled it. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant to say. Shut up, you monster! We'll teach you a lesson! Uh. He with his own music. Get lost. Uh, who the hell are you? I said go! It. Never mind. You know, you should stand up for yourself. I... I was too scared to even thank him for that. Maybe that's why I haven't been able to make any friends. I... I wish I had friends. But I guess... I guess that'll never happen. Never mind. You know, you should stand up for yourself. Stand up for myself? He's right. I should thank him for helping me out the way he did. That's what I'll do. Number one sign of an absolute badass is badass music starts playing at any time they walk onto the scene. Like the greatest here to the people of this town, 
people who don't respect him aren't welcome here. You hear what I said? I'm telling you to leave. Yeah, you suck. Oh, it's bad luck. Yeah, everybody here sucks. I did see a man with red hair cross the bridge a short while ago. Why do you ask? Why are you so interested in him? Well, you're the one that's bringing monsters here. Even when you help, you suck. Cross the bridge. Yeah, this place is supposed to have water, so I guess that's what uh, thing meant about place drying up. Oh, here we go. What is it? Maybe this was a bad idea. If you've got nothing to say, then I've got something to ask you. Uh huh? Oh, okay. So they said that your name is Emil. Well, Emil, have you seen a girl around here with a red jewel on her forehead? What? Uh, I, um... No, sir. What are you so nervous about? Uh, I, uh... Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Huh? Their words, a human with a few screws loose said long ago. When you refused to swear allegiance to Lloyd, didn't you feel courage welling up inside of you? Those who would grovel and beg, or run away at the first sight of another's anger, are dogs, or even worse. Are you a dog, or are you really a man? I... I'm... uh... <laughs> Just try to do your best to be a man, Emil. Courage. The magic that turns dreams into reality. I'm not a monster. I need to stand up like a human being. That guy was really amazing. Are you a dog or are you really a man? I could never say anything like that to someone. They'd only get angry at me. Uh, wait, maybe I should have gotten angry at him. Well, not really sure where to go from here. Sounds like it's coming from the lake bed. What should I do? I want to know what it is, but I'd be leaving town to go down there. Aunt Flora will get mad if I leave without permission. Screw her. What could it be? Yeah, it's your aunt floor. We're going to the lake bed. Oh, just missed the skit. Alba, what is it? Is something wrong? Uh, Uncle Alba. Uh oh, he probably sucks too. <laughs> what do you want? Get the hell out of here, you little nuisance. Called it. I'm sorry. Always getting in the way. Just go home and stay out of trouble. Just the sight of you puts the whole town in distress. Forget about the vanguard-loving Brad Alba. Did something happen? 
Monsters I've never seen before showed up in Lake Sanoa's lake bed. Several members of the City Watch are down. Wh what? I'm going to gather reinforcements. Go tell the mayor what happened. Right. That howl again. If I go now, I could make it down to the lake bed. But everyone will get mad at me. That's fine, they all suck. Those who would grovel and beg, or run away at the first sight of another's anger, are dogs, or even worse. I'll go. I'm not a dog. I'm a human being. Uh, can I get the... Lots of different skit. If sure. I want to go to the Sanoa lake bed, I need to leave town. I've never gone outside town on my own. W wonder if I'll be all right. Mom, please make sure I don't run into any monsters. You just see if the other skit's going to pop up. Doesn't seem like it. Oh well. Found when the lake dried up, currently off limits due to ferocious monsters. What should I do? I've made it this far, but. Well, stop it. That is not the, uh, Stance of a fighter. <laughs> Stop it. Also, the bear is not taking any damage. I don't want to die like this. Get away from me. Watch out. Yet. Are you gonna fight with me or run? Um, come uh, on, you're a man. Speak up. Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Game sure huh? likes its flashbacks. Their words, a human with a few screws loose, said long ago. When you refused to swear allegiance to Lloyd, didn't you feel courage welling up inside of you? I'll fight. Okay, then I'll leave the front line to you. I'll leave the front line to you proceeds to run up to the front. Sure thing. Dude. There, good work. 
It's pretty dangerous here, so you should probably get going. Hey, it's you! Huh? What do you mean? You don't... You don't remember me, do you? Maybe I'm wrong, but you look just like him. Well, what are you talking about? It's nothing. Never mind. I'm sorry. Anyway, you should leave here as soon as you can, okay? Uh, wait a minute. Yes? What is it? I'm in a hurry. I, I wanted to thank you for saving me. My name's Emil. So... Um, what's your name? I'm Marta. Is that it? If, if it's dangerous here, then maybe you should leave too. If things get dangerous, will you save me again? M but you were the one... Who was kind enough to save me. <laughs> you don't remember, do you? I'm sorry to confuse you, but I really have to get going. Take care of yourself, Emil. It looks like a red jewel. A red jewel on her forehead. So they said that your name is Emil. Well, Emil, have you seen a girl around here with a red jewel on her forehead? No, are we going to get a flashback Maybe about it? <laughs> Marta is the girl with the jewel that that man was looking for. I should probably let him know. I wonder if that guy is still in town. He'll probably be happy if I tell him about that girl Marta. It's strange, though. She seemed like she knew me. Have I met her before? I think I'd remember a cute girl like her. She must be confusing me with someone else. Yeah, must be. Oh, well, we're here. Nice. Stop right there. Turn around and go home now. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright, well. Back to Lewin we go. You little... What are you doing here? I'm sorry. You just have to go out of your way to cause trouble. Thanks to your little grudge against Lloyd the Great, there are rumors that our family's secretly supporting the Vanguard. Go home and keep your mouth shut. Ugh, when I get home, so help me. should I do? Uncle Abba was really angry. I, I wonder if he'll hit me again. What should I do? I'm scared. I really should have just ignored that monster's howl. If only Lloyd hadn't attacked Paul Macosta, I wouldn't be going through all this. Uh, yeah, everyone here sucks. <laughs> it's, it's the moral of what I'm getting here. Um, right. Red-haired dude is not here. Screw you. Where... 
years after the two worlds became one, that the islands and the Silver Island tier remain emotionally divided. Yep. Here's house. What do you think you are? Just rolling up. You suck. Oh, look, shopkeeper. Uh, and at least you start with five of each. There's shells, a couple life bottles. Okay. Oh. Spree walked off to. Ah, there we go. Emil. Oh. Do you already know Richter? Um, well... I asked him earlier if he knew of Marta's whereabouts. Ah, I see. Um, Richter? What is it? Well, um, the girl with the red jewel on her forehead, I... You saw Marta? <laughs> You're, uh... Cool and composed demeanor. It's kind of uh, breaking there, Richter. <laughs> yes. Well, you see. Where? I have a lot. <laughs> oh, well, um. Just calm down and try to explain what you saw. Lake Sonoa, um, where the monsters come out just before. Enough. <laughs> Mayor. I'd like to take him with me. Can I count on you to take me to where you saw Marta? Yes. He certainly is determined. Take him to where you saw the girl. Just be careful of monsters, all right? At least the mayor here doesn't suck. Take him where he you saw the girl, just be careful of monsters. Yep. No other text. Cool. I'm ready now. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. You apologize too much. Of course, if you want to become a dog, I won't stop you. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> sorry. Stop apologizing. Anyway, I'm sorry for yelling at you earlier. <sighs> what are you waiting for? Hurry up and take me to where you saw Marta. Join the party. Bend, Lone Traveler. I can't examine the status. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, level 15. A little bit of a difference in strength there. Hey, don't fall behind. I'm sorry. What do you think you're doing walking in front of me? Uh, sorry. Hey. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not angry with you. Now we get to go into the cave. You came back again? What's wrong with you, you demonic little brat? Oh, here's hoping Richter like, kicks your ass. Hmm, a friend of the Vanguard indeed. He may be your nephew, but you sure took in a real pest. I I'm sorry. The mayor's given his permission for Emil to accompany me. Step aside. 
the mayor, but move. <laughs> What are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Wait! There are monsters in there! Yes, and? I'm telling you, it's dangerous! You can go if you want, but leave him here with us! Oh, don't pretend to care. Didn't you just call him a demonic little brat? Emil, what do you want to do? I... Emil, you stay with us! Screw you. I, uh... Make up your mind. Even dogs can think for themselves. Come on, you're a man. Speak up! Who the hell does he think he is? Come on, let's go. Going with them. Emil! I'm going. There you go. Um, Richter. Let's go. Huh? Aren't you coming with me? Yes. Don't get in my way. You're responsible for protecting yourself. I'll bail you out if things get too tough. Okay. Alba really laid into you. Why didn't you say anything back? I'm sorry. You were like that with the kids in town as well. Bullies like that will never leave you alone if you don't stand up to them. Do you understand? Nothing will change if you just take it. Uh, I'm sorry. What did I say about over-apologizing? Oh. Right. I'm not blaming you. You're free to do as you choose. Just don't be so submissive all the time. Have more respect for yourself. I can't tell if Richter's a nice guy or not. <laughs> yes. A very strong personality. Let's go with that. Emil, you fought monsters before, I assume. Huh? Um, I mean, well... Don't tell me you haven't. Um, I... only a little. So, then you have. Twice, I think. You think? <laughs> you'd, uh, you'd have to be there. Hmm? This one should do fine. A monster? What should I do? Stop panicking for one. Children hunt monsters like this for fun. Um, but I... Relax. I'll give you instructions. Okay. Hey, hey full on combat tutorial now. Control scheme is set to semi-auto. You'll automatically approach the target. I just press the button. Targets to switch to. Target right, said. Enduring summer. Stop it. Set to auto automatically guard. Yep. Stop it. Mortal summer. Enduring summer. Mortal spring. Mortal spring. Mortal spring. Mortal spring. Mortal spring. Mortal spring. Mortal attack received during free run will register as a critical hit, which, yeah, we saw that earlier. Eat the Paul Wiggle. That is an adorable name. Mortal Spring, enduring 
Good job. There, that should be enough. Ha! What was that? It's called an art. You learn them the more you fight and develop your skills. Even I can learn them? You will in time. So, now do you understand how to fight? Yeah. I... I think so. Don't worry. I told you, I'll back you up. I'm the one who asked for your help. I won't let anything happen to you. Okay. Yeah, Richard definitely seems like a nice enough guy. Um... I'll bet a little bit abrasive, but... What is it? Why are you... Um, why are you looking for Marta? Yeah, that's probably something you should have asked earlier, but is this just asking now. To know in order to live? Um, no, I was just wondering. I have no need to satisfy your idle curiosity. I'm sorry. Don't apologize so excessively. Uh. I'm often accused of being short with people. I don't intend to change my ways, but it doesn't mean I have anything against you. Thank you. That's not something you need to thank me for. Oh, sorry. <sighs> <laughs> Emil, stop! Pay attention. You almost walked right into a monster. Sorry. If you touch any monster you see walking around, you'll have to fight them. Got it? If you stumble into an enemy, as you almost did just now, they're likely to get the upper hand and attack you from behind. So the way you run into monsters makes a difference? That's right. Attacking an enemy from behind works out in your favor. But if they get behind you, they'll have the advantage. It's the same for both fighting and fleeing. Be aware of the enemy's direction and movements. Failing to do so can get you killed. Okay, I understand. And one more thing. I can't have you wandering in a daze like that again, so listen. It's not that I didn't appreciate your words of gratitude. I simply feel there's no need to give more thanks or apologies than the situation calls for. All right. We must express ourselves to convey our feelings to others. However, I feel emotions lose their strength once they're put into words. So I prefer to speak only what is absolutely necessary. That's all. Okay. This is the first time I've ever had to explain this much to anyone. <laughs> uh, that looks progress. What's down the side path? Hey, free stuff. Money. Let's see if we can, uh... Ah, shatters green when you surprise an enemy. Let's finish them quickly. Do have any kind of healing? Yes, yes he does. Uh. Let's do that. Kinda low on, uh... Hey, a save. Let's 
save over my test file. Now let's take a look at what's over here. Moss can be burned. Oh, I have no way to burn it, so... I guess there's nothing over here. just a monster. Don't worry about it. Of course I'm gonna worry. Then you can wait here. What about you? There's a monster in there. Probably a strong one. Wait here until I take it out. But I... You'll just get in the way. Stay here. Okay. I'm just not cut out for this sort of thing. <laughs> Was that Marta? What should I do? Probably the best course of action is to just kind of pace back and forth. Uh, yeah, just like that. Do that. Yeah. If things get dangerous, will you... Save me again? I don't know anything about her. But I can't just ignore it. Well, off we go. Charge! that Ratatosk's core on your forehead. No. Then I'll just have to destroy it along with you. Stop! Stop it, please! Richter, what are you doing? I thought I told you to wait on the other side of the door. This is why you were looking for her? So you could kill her? That's right. Why? Because she is trying to awaken Ratatosk, the Demon Lord. Demon Lord? What are you talking about? I agree. It's quite a foolish name. But Demon Lord is the most appropriate term to describe what he is. If Ratatosk awakens, the world will be destroyed. No, you're wrong! Ratatosk is not a demon! He's the lord of all monsters! He won't destroy the world! I'm not interested in semantics. Uh, yeah, I don't really know exactly what's going on, but, uh, um... What are you doing? Step aside. No. Move! I'm not a dog! That's why I'm going to make my own decisions. Emil. Yeah, take that. Taking your advice and using it against you. Thank you. I don't want to kill you. Move. I, I don't really understand what you two are talking about, but you can't do things like this. If you just talk this over... I thought I told you not to get in my way. Aqua, show yourself. You called, Master Richter? Take care of the boy. Just don't overdo it. The talking monster? Who are you calling a monster, you human? I am a centurion. Centurion Aqua! Now then, my cute little minion. Remove the boy from our presence. Yeah, you weren't there a second ago. What was that? 
I won't be able to catch up with Richter with that thing in the way. You must forge a pact. Another talking monster? I am not a beast. I too am a centurion. Centurion Tenebrae. Centurion Tenebrae? You could never defeat the monster on the other side of this door as you are now. Forge a pact to become a knight of Ratatosk. Then you will be able to accept Lord Ratatosk's power in battle. What do you mean? There is no time to explain. Lady Marta is in danger. But, I mean, you're just a monster, a centurion. I mean, and I, I don't know if... That how? Were you the one calling me? Lady Marta was looking for you. You saved her life and she has chosen you to be a knight. M me now, forge the pact. Forge it pact with a talking monster slash centurion slash something about becoming a knight of, of a demon lord in order to gain undetermined power and save a cute girl. I'm sold. <laughs> I'll make the pact. Understood. Emil, I command you, unleash the power within yourself. Awaken, hunter of evil. Looks sweet, and they get a new outfit out of the deal. Spiteful Tenebrae! What are you doing here? Let's go. What? You want to <laughs> fight? You're going to regret this. The only one who's going to regret this is you. That's a sudden drop in voice. Now come on. And ah, demon fang. Demon fang. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a lot more uh, proper fight. Okay, okay so unmodified B button. healing. Stop that. Of course I won. Ooh, level three already. Let's still recover. An elemental fragment. And got a new title. Sweet. What just happened? And lost the drop in voice. Lord Ratatosk's power took hold of you. It felt like I became someone else. Yes, that was Lord Ratatosk's power. I'm not quite sure I understand. Anyway, what happened to Aqua? I didn't even touch her. 
Centurions themselves do not fight. They employ monster servants to battle in their place. If their monsters are defeated, the Centurion's power will also fade. Right now, she is only unconscious. Oh, that's good. I didn't want to hurt her. Come, we must go after Lady Marta. Did I learn something just now? It appears you've acquired a skill. A skill? Yes, a special technique for battle. Skills are acquired by meeting certain requirements. Everyone has their own set of skills they can learn. Once learned, you can set which skills to use from the skill screen on the menu. Select whatever skills you think will be the most useful. However, the number of skills you can equip at one time is limited. The total points of all selected skills cannot exceed a character's skill point limit. So think carefully when setting your skills. Do you understand? Yep, yeah, seems simple enough. Yeah, sort of. Do you really? I've got it, I think. This should be an interesting journey. <laughs> let's, let's see. Strength granted by a pact is a strength to protect you. Yep, yeah, just straight bonus. Sweet. Um, yeah, equip skills. Recover. Avoid knockdown by pressing A or B when knocked back. Six skill points total. This uses up only the one. And I wanted to check out this. Let's put Demon Fang on forward and B as well. Okay, nice and simple. I wonder if I can do this. You can. I have every confidence that you can save Lady Marta. <laughs> you must believe in your powers as a knight of Ratatosk. But I... Humans have a saying, seeing is believing. I, I don't think that exactly applies here. Anyway, thanks, Tenebrae. I'll give it my best shot. Oh. I, was, I was going the other way, though. It, it won't open. Ah, okay, well, the door's blocked anyway. Richter must have sealed it off. Then, what should we do? I feel a draft. There must be another passage somewhere. Perhaps you should use the sorcerer's ring to examine the walls. What's that? There, on your finger. Huh? That ring was given to you by Lord Ratatosk as a symbol of your pact. Magical power dwells within it. But I'm a human. Only elves and half-elves can use magic. Don't worry, that ring can be used by humans as well. Really? I guess I'll try it out. In towards the screen and press C to display a cursor. Move the cursor and press A to use... Yeah, okay. Somewhere along the way, I got all new clothes. I see you finally noticed. <laughs> I've been wondering when you would bring it up. I noticed right away. It just never seemed like a good time to ask. Along with the Sorcerer's Ring, those clothes are a symbol of your pact with Lord Ratatosk. It's vital that a Knight of Ratatosk present himself with a certain degree of elegance. R right. The outfit's fabric is prepared with a number of special incantations and hexes that make the garment waterproof, wrinkle-free, and mold-resistant. The design is meant to evoke Lord Ratatosk's fierce bravery and his subtle grace. The effect is mesmerizing. Wait a sec. One other question. Yes? What happened to the clothes I was wearing before? That is the darkness's... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, forget I said anything. <laughs> the darkness is what? <laughs> hey, come on! That floor is gonna skin me alive if I lose those clothes. 
<laughs> Only the darkness knows. Gotta find a way somewhere else. Um, we can get around that door somewhere. Ah, an imp. It will do nicely. Let us forge a pact. Pact? Hey, more pacts, more power. Your power as a knight of Ratatosk is granted to you by Lord Ratatosk himself. However, he is currently in a deep slumber. As a result, the power he grants you is very weak. This is weak? No way! Lord Ratatosk is very powerful. As you gain experience and grow your abilities, it's crucial you continue to unlock more of his strength. But how am I supposed to do that? It's simple. We Centurions share a bond with Lord Ratatosk. If power is restored to the Centurions, Lord Ratatosk's strength will return as well. We can accomplish this by forging pacts with monsters. How does that work? As I explained earlier, Centurions do not engage in battle themselves. We use monsters under our control. A Centurion's power depends on the number and strength of the monsters it employs. I am the Centurion of Darkness, so any pact you make with dark elemental monsters will bring them under my control and make me more powerful in the process. So the more monsters I get on my side, the stronger I'll become? That's correct. But how do I make Sweet a deal. pact? Like this. What are you doing? In order to make a pact, you must first prove you are more powerful than your opponent. You must force them to yield to you in battle. You didn't tell me I'd have to fight! I just did. Ah, it approaches. Wait! Nope, no waiting. <laughs> Amount grid on the bottom left will change when you use an art with an elemental attribute. Oh, I don't have any of those right now. Minor or major elements, the element of grid. Three identical minor elements change the major element. Oh. Attack screen will be displayed when a monster is defeated, when the major and four minor elements are the same. Okay. Sun's explanation, okay. Simple. Assuming it works. That's adorable. That is adorable. Well done. You have made the imp your ally. Hey, Aqua is a centurion too, right? Will I get stronger if she has more monsters under her control? No. Aqua has chosen to sever her bond with Lord Ratatosk. As such, even if she acquires more monster servants, your powers will not increase. But there are other Centurions, right? Yes. You will learn about the others in due time. But you may enter into packs with monsters without the Centurion of the same element. Later, when you befriend the appropriate Centurions, your strength will increase accordingly. That's nice and everything, but I only became a Knight of Ratatos because I needed to fight now. I'm not really interested in getting any stronger than this. Now, now, there's no harm in arming yourself with a little information. True. Also, to make pacts, you will need the pact magic appropriate for each monster. Really? Yes. When you have subdued a monster that you wish to make your ally, I will cast the Pact Magic. I'm not sure I understand, so I'll leave it to you. 
That's fine. Oh. Ah, now there's a wolf. Just what we're looking for. Try making a pact with him. But I just made a pact with a monster. Yes, but I'll teach you a way to make forming pacts easier. There's an easier way? Surprising, because the other way was already pretty easy. Yes, you can make monsters under your control fight beside you. If yeah, your ally right. and the enemy are compatible, the pact will go more smoothly. Add the imp you gain to your combat roster, and then try fighting the wolf. Okay. Uh, pretty sure he's already a part of the party, so, um... Actually, well, look here. Do you have any skills? No. Raziel. There we go. See, to perform a unison attack, and the unison attack gauge at the bottom of the screen is over half full. Allies join Kalka. The elemental grid was water. The imp didn't join. Okay. Should have never gone against me. Mabel can join. Aha! Get the imp to strengthen. And that's how you make things easier. Sweet. Oh, little puppy. Well done. Now the wolf has also become our ally. Why is making packs easier depending on the monster you have fighting with you? Monsters have compatibility with each other. The type and strength of the monsters you befriend also have an effect on packs. Make sure to experiment with this yourself. Yeah, screw it. Let's get into another fight. Mm. Because we don't have tutorial mode, free health, the elemental grid is not going to make it uh, possible to form more pacts. Not a whole lot of point um, fighting new creatures to get more packs then if we just won't be able to make any. All right. Th that monster joined us. Bravo! Huh? I think he's referring Beautiful, to the wolf. Fantastic! Simply excellent! I must admit, I am quite impressed. Really? Of course, that monster is ideal for beginners. I would be rather concerned if you had failed. <sighs> Do you have any skills? Nog. Oh. Need something here. Yeah. Yep. Just press the switch. This may lead to where we need to go. Let's proceed. Okay. Oh, 
Here's another. Press every button. leads forward. Let's finish looting. Didn't quite sneak past at all. I'm very low on health. Should uh, make a point of fixing that. We are Havoc Strike. Sure. And apple gel. Oh, where did we go? Chosen of regeneration? The core. He. Richter! It's all right. The attack missed his vital organs. So he'll survive? Yes. Just leave him here and he will be fine. It is more important to go after Lady Marta. Leave him here? We can't do that. We need to at least tell someone. There's no time. Now that Lloyd has appeared, time is of the essence. Lady Marta's life is in grave danger. After all, this man is the enemy. Didn't you come here to protect her? I did, but I can't just leave him like this. Richter said some mean things, but he also helped me. I can't just abandon him now. Go on ahead and find Marta. I'll follow you as soon as I can. I believe you will regret this decision, but it is yours to make. Damn Lloyd. How could he do that to Richter? First he took my mother and father from me, and now he's hurt Richter. I won't let him get away with this! I think this is the door that Richter had sealed. And we can open it from this side to sweep. Aqua's awake. Oh, you! Aqua, you have to come with me. Huh, you expect me to just go with you after what happened? That doesn't matter right now. Richter's been hurt badly. Lloyd attacked him and... What? Lloyd? I think he'll live, but I'm still worried. Hurry and help him. You came back to tell me that? Hmm, you're not half bad. Nowhere near as cool as Master Richter, but still... <laughs> Just come! I wasn't even that much of a detour. Master Richter! Aqua, how is 
Percy. He'll be fine. He took a sword to the back, but that's not the reason he collapsed. It's the wound from two years ago. What happened? If you weren't my enemy, I tell you. Anyway, leave Master Richter to me. All right, time to find Marta. Lloyd's after her. I better hurry. Yep, charge forward. you why did you kill them Emil my mother and my father and all those people in Pamacosta why did you have to kill all of them <gasps> not again with Pamacosta how dare you say that? What do you mean, again? I'll never forgive you for that! Yeah, well, this won't end well. I'm telling you right now, this is not a winnable fight. <laughs> nope. Oh, healing power. Nope. I wasn't going to see any resources on that. I knew that was not a fight that was winnable. I'm alive. I guess he decided not to kill us. Lady Marta, Centurion Lumen's core is... It's gone! Are you talking about a white jewel? I think that Lloyd took it with him. He took it? Are you sure? Yeah. Was it important? Yes. Centurion Lumen's core is essential to our journey. Lady Marta, let's hurry. You and I must go after them. <sighs> okay, but first... Thank you so much, Emil. I really appreciate you saving me once again. I didn't do anything. I mean, I was pretty much useless. But you did save me. You became a knight. A knight of Ratatosk. That's why you were able to save me, right? I always thought that you would make a wonderful knight. It's true. That's what I thought ever since the first time we met. You what? It's okay. I guess that it just wasn't as memorable for you. But honestly, I'm very grateful to you for saving me. What would I have done without you? Uh, um... Lady Marta, we must hurry. Yes, you're right. Emil? Would you help us? Just until we make it out of this place? Uh, sure. Marta is kind of a strange girl. Um, hey, what's this? What's this? It looks like the mask that Lloyd was wearing. It's pretty tacky. 
super tacky. Tacky, indeed. <laughs> It appears the door has been sealed from the other side. Damn! This must be Lloyd's doing. I'm sure he did this to trap us in here. Ugh. There is a draft. There must be another way out. Let's have a look around. Alright. Uh. This is Lloyd's mask. It's probably inspired by that play, The Phantom of the Operetta. You think so? It reminds me more of F for Feud. <laughs> is that the one with the twin brothers where the one is king and at the end they switch places? You're thinking of the man in the aluminum mask. How can you get those two mixed up? I have no idea what you two are talking about. Uh, it's legally distinct references. Or I guess more Jewel universe Hunter distinct Lloyd references. Is here. What's this? Ugh, that jerk! Set it on fire! Emil, burn it for her. Burn it? Oh, you mean that? Surprise, surprise. Button. small trace of lumen it may be too late to follow them no is this lumen's core really so valuable that you'd fight over it oh i guess a lot of this doesn't make sense to you to put it simply the centurion's cores are the eggs of centurions like tenebrae lumen's core is the egg of centurion lumen you might say that cores contain centurions in hibernation and the core on my forehead is Ratatosk's core, and it's... The, the Demon Lord's egg? I told you, he's not a demon! Perhaps we should take the time to explain all of this to Emil. True, but let's get out of here first. There's just... Dana. So, Marta, about this Ratatax? It's Ratatosk, not Ratatax. Oh, right. Um, so this Ratatax? His name is Ratatosk. Sheesh, what's the difference? What's the difference? How rude. How would you feel if someone were to call you a mule? Actually, my mule is quite the combination of strength and servility. <laughs> well played, Lady Marta, well played. So much for asking about Ratatosk. Uh... Like that, we're out of there. Um, where are we? Ah, oh, of course. This is where the Tower of Mana used to be. Lloyd and his companions came here on their journey of world regeneration. So it's a historical site for the Church of Martell. Right. No wonder there are hidden passages. And of course, Lloyd would show up. Oh, so Lloyd's friends in the Church of Martell guided him. It's only a guess. I'm unable to sense Lumen's presence. It appears that Lloyd has escaped. I guess we'll go back to Lewin for now. That okay with you? Uh, yeah. Oh, before we do that, I'm gonna save right here. I think that's a good spot to call the first episode. Why do you think Lloyd is collecting centurions? After the skit. He could be trying to exterminate anyone who resists the Church of Martell. I bet it's something like that. Th that's why he's collecting them? I don't know. But in Palma Costa... Palma Costa? Never mind. Anyway, he's teamed up with the Church of Martell to oppress the people of Silverant. So he must be gathering the cores for some lousy reason or another. It makes me want to scream! Lloyd stands for lousy with a capital L! 
Yeah, and that second L in his name stands for loser. Or even laudacious. Well, what does that mean? Beats me. <laughs> All right. Well, I said I think that's a good spot to call the first episode. Hope everybody's in, been enjoying. Uh, this is sure to shape up to be quite a great series. Um, but for now, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down be below if you want to give me any kind of feedback or just support the channel anyway. Until next time, see you all later. <laughs>